Sons and daughters of God, this is an example of how to pray out of the Bible. We're going to be um, doing a declaration. You should do this every day with your, with your spouse and your family. Second epistle, uh, epistle of John, uh, verses one through six. And uh, it's important that when you do these these prayers that you, you, you realize what the powers are. A power is a force of God. And we got... We got a number of different powers in here. Truth is a power. It's um, it's a force of God. Um, then we have um, mercy, and this is also a power. It's a force of God. Now realize that these powers, these forces, are already inside of us. We're already completed with these. And when we pray, we want these to manifest um, fully, and they'll they'll slowly grow inside of you. You'll have to work on a, a few of them yourself, but um, they're already inside of us. And um, what we're doing is asking the Lord to have them to rise up inside of us. So, so far we have truth and then we have mercy here. And then another major force, a power of God is, is peace, which is also inside of you. God the Father is also inside of you. Lord Jesus Christ is inside of you. These are forces and these are powers. This is um, um, this is how you uh, get the manifestation of these powers. Become conscious conscious of uh, of um, the forces that are that are inside of you. And then we also have the power of love, which is number one, because God is love. Here, so um, this is also in the description area. You like to follow along down there, King James Version. Um, ready? Mm -hmm. The elder yeah, unto the elect lady, lady and, and her children, children whom I love in the truth, truth and, and not, not only, 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 but also all them that have, have known, known my truth. truth. For truth's sake, which, which dwelleth in us, in us and, and shall be with us forever. forever. Grace, Grace be with, with you. you. Mercy, and peace, and God, God the Father, and, and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. I rejoice greatly that I found in the children walking in the truth, and as we have received the commandment of God. And now I beseech thee, lady, as a new commandment unto thee, but that which I have from the beginning, that we love one another, and this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as I have heard from the beginning, we shall walk in it. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Lord, I repent and ask for forgiveness of all of my sins that I've ever committed in my entire life. And I thank you for forgiving me. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for your power of love to rise up inside of me and make a full manifest manifestation inside of me so that I can give it out, Lord Jesus. I want to show love. I want to be love. I want to walk in your special love, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, Father, Holy Spirit, I pray that the power and the force of truth also rise up inside of me. Lord Jesus, and I pray that it dwells inside, that it that it just rises up and it dwells and it just lives inside of me and comes in, in, and comes out of me with full power. I want to walk in your truth, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray for you that your grace be with me and that your mercy be with me and rise up inside of me and that your peace, most of all your peace, Lord Jesus. I want to walk in in, in your rest. In your peace. I don't want to be shaken. I don't want to be rattled by any situation ever again, Lord Jesus. And I know I will, but I want your peace to rise up inside of me and it become more powerful than any situation that I'll ever face ever in my life, Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll continue to try, try to keep working on being peaceful myself also. Father, I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ, the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, the power and the force of the Lord Jesus Christ rise up inside of me from the core of my being, Lord Jesus, to the outside of my skin, along with the son of the father, the force of 
uh, truth and love also too. And I rejoice and I'm, I'm happy to be able to have all of these wonderful powers and these forces that are inside of me, Lord Jesus. And, I'll be, and I'm going to rejoice because I know that one day I know that they'll be fully operational all inside of me. And I'll be using these wonderful, wonderful powers and forces with ease, Lord Jesus, as, they're, as they continue, as you continue to develop them inside of me, Lord Jesus. I rejoice. I'm happy and I'm grateful, Lord Jesus, to be able to walk in your truth, Lord Jesus. I'm happy to be able to receive all of these wonderful gifts that you've given me, Lord Jesus. I'm happy to be able to, to walk in all of your commandments for the, as best as I possibly can, Lord Jesus. And I'm going to try to walk in your commandments more and more all of the time, every single day, constantly, uh, conscientiously in thinking of truth and doing things in your truth and doing things in your love and, and realizing how merciful that you are to me, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray and I thank you and I give you all of the honor and the glory forever and ever and ever. And Lord, concerning your commandments, I want to do them all. That's the desire of my heart. And I thank you that you forgive me when I mess up. And I sometimes, Lord Jesus, I don't deliberately try to do things against your will, Lord Jesus. But I, I pray that you give me the strength and that you give me the direction and you would just lead me and just walk with me. Hold my hand, Lord Jesus, and help me to obey all of your commandments, Lord Jesus, because I want to walk in all of these wonderful, wonderful gifts that you have and I want to walk in your love and I want to walk in your commandments in Jesus Christ's name most high God Holy Spirit feed all the hungry people all around the world today and let them, every individual know that you love them save every single soul give fresh water to all those who need to, to drink it Lord Jesus today shelter the homeless Lord Jesus clothe the naked Lord Jesus Warm coats, shoes, socks, clean undergarments, clean clothes, showers, baths, whatever the people need, Lord. Show the people that you love them very, very much and let them know that you're the one who blessed them with these things and let them be able to glorify you and spread spread your name about and, and, um, and help others to believe in you also too because of the wonderful things that you do for the unfortunate. And even for the fortunate, Lord Jesus, I glorify you and I praise you and I honor you and I thank you so much forever and ever and ever. Thank you for saving all of my family members in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.